Hey guys, welcome to Inspire Chemistry and I hope everybody is in uh, good health and uh, stay at your homes, stay safe and today I'll be discussing about uh, the uh, ICERs versus NITs versus IITs versus ISC versus other central universities. So many of you had these questions, sir, I'm getting this bad IITs like the last one IIT, IIT Palakkad and everything. Should I go for NIT Varangal or other central universities rather than the old IITs? So, uh, first of all, I would like you, to, every each of one you to each one of you to decide in your mind. Like, you may not be very clear, but you should have a, at least a uh, fair idea about you. Uh, that would you like to do MSc or would you like to do MSc PhD? Because um, after MSc, you have to give your net or if you want net to do PhD in, within the country and if you want to go outside, you have to give GRE and TOEFL other examinations to go outside. And uh, in ISIS, ISC, other places, you will have integrated PhD programs where you can do your MSc, PhD uh, like within six years, six to say six and a half years. And it's a good program. You'll get money. You'll be more independent uh, and other things will be there. So uh, returning back to the topic, so what happens is that uh, those who are getting the lower IITs, like those who are ranking is from 400, starts from 400 and from four, 400 to 500, 550 and people from rank 400 to 800, I would personally say that you have the best chance at ICERS, okay. So ICERS is, uh, is the only institute which have good uh, which are really good in uh, coursework as well as uh, their research activities. Okay, both of them are included. Okay, and the best ICERs I uh, are there is a ICER Pune and ICER uh, Kolkata, and uh, ICER uh, Bhopal is doing excellent in this thing. But uh, uh, other ICERs are also doing good. So uh, I hope you go for ICERs because you have the best chance of cracking cracking the interviews. I'm not. Uh, uh, um, saying that other people who have lower ranks can't crack it, it totally depends on your interviews, uh, how you perform in your interviews. So, uh, it would be best if the people from rank 400 to 800 go for I ICERS, IASC, JNCS, JNCSR and other research institutes. So, like 70, 80 people will be selected in these institutes and uh, what uh, you'll unknowingly, you'll help your other friends who want desperately want to be an IITian but they're ending up into IITs so if you go to some better place you'll have better coursework for yourself and what uh, you'll help them to uh, upgrade from NITs to IITs okay so that will they might just because of you even from one seat if you're getting something good you can leave it uh, leave something good for others okay so that's my humble request even if you uh, if you go for uh, ICERS you'll leave some space vacant for the back people to come in front and join these IIT, uh, IITs, okay. So <clears throat> that's why I recommend it. Uh, other than that, <clears throat> those who are getting uh, good NITs, like uh, those who are uh, other, like uh, not everybody will go to ICERS and ISC. So people will be upgraded by third counseling and that's why I say the third counseling is really, really important uh, to uh, stay, uh, to stay, Till the third round and very last round of counseling and other another thing is that people who are going to NITs uh, that um, uh, you should rather than going to NITs I would still say that uh, Hyderabad Central University is good and Delhi University is also good Banaras Hindu Universities uh, Jadavpur is uh, rising its name Anna Universities these like five universities are really really good so even if you're uh, those who are getting NIT Warangal, it's good. You can go there. And otherwise, you should always keep trying to um, other people after NIT Warangal. Okay. So, NIT Warangal is some really uh, has a good reputation. Other, uh, the list I gave you in the previous video, there were some NITs I ranked till 5. So, if you're not getting them, try to go for uh, Delhi universities, uh, Delhi universities and other universities, Hyderabad University. Uh, BHU, Anna University, I'm naming them again again so that uh, it uh, clicks you that these are really, really uh, prestigious also in terms of their coursework and studies. So you can uh, try to join these universities rather than I NITs. And one important thing is that then comes your CUCTs. So 
CUCTs are uh, uh, the center university counseling is also good. So try to uh, be in a university which is near to your place and try to find out about their activities through their sites uh, from uh, going to the um, reaching out to the students who have been uh, studying there or uh, their like alumni how are they doing what are they uh, doing actually and you can uh, do this by uh, uh, using the social media as your platform try to message them they'll uh, try to help you okay so don't be shy it's uh, uh, it's for your own future it's for your own good so don't be shy try to contact them okay and one important thing is that uh, uh, come uh, coming back to the question that uh, why uh, nit like iit why iits versus nits okay so it's uh, one thing you should uh, uh, the take home message will be uh, to be a professor in iit is very different to be professors in nit okay the qualifications of professors their phd their research work their post docs uh, how they teach okay so it's very very uh, like uh, very difficult to be a professor iit as compared to nit like i'm not here to compare anybody that you should know i'm not here to i'm not comparing anybody but the qualification and level of teaching in the two institutes really uh, like differs okay i'm not saying there may be some uh, exceptional teachers in nits who are really really good in teaching there can be exceptions in iits who are who, who doesn't teach properly they were just good research they are just good researchers and uh, this is something you'll see in research institutes like uh, if you uh, if you join some research institute the professor will be more focused upon their research and they won't like mind or um, pay uh, very much uh, attention to you as compared to their research for they won't uh, like study hard to teach you or uh, teach passionately as compared to uh, what their passion is in research okay so that happens in every place and you should uh, always remember that even if you go to some institute there will be some coursework will be, which will be like excellent and there will be some coursework which are really really poor so in every iit in every research institute in every college in every university you'll find something like this so it totally depends on you how you tackle that and uh, so you are at the end you're the one who uh, who has to study okay it's not that everybody will come and teach you and you will be complaining so teach this teach that so uh, at last it's it uh, totally depends on you and uh, still uh, so that's all for uh, me so that's why i prefer that uh, iits uh, have better uh, teachers better professors they have more funds they have more global collaboration they have more respect uh, outside and uh, and ITs are also reputed, but as compared to uh, IITs, they are less reputed. And uh, believe me, there are some IITs which are really hyped. And uh, that's why I'm saying that you, know, you should look for alternatives like ISOs. Okay. So people who have uh, questions regarding these, please comment us and we'd like to help you with that. And that's why we are here. So I hope you find these uh, videos very friendly and uh, informative regarding these uh, uh, I, I your admission procedure and if you like this video please hit a like button share it with your friends so that uh, their doubts can be cleared as well and that's all stay tuned with our channel we'll bring you more exciting videos and informative videos in the future uh, subscribe our channel and share it with your friends thank you stay stay home stay safe